like in the last type of motor is going to be shaded pole motor so shaded pole uh, motor means you are going to have a different uh, stator construction rotor i am not going to change rotor is going to be squirrel gauge rotor only but in the stator c i am going to have a shaded pole configuration so shaded pole means you are going to have the poles projecting out like this so usually poles will be the the stator is not fully cylindrical you are having some hollow gaps and you see that the stator is projecting out like this and you are going to have main field windings here at the end of the edges i am going to have a field winding and i am going to have shaded coils here 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 i am going to have it at four places so shaded uh, shade shading coils are used for short circuiting so shading coil is going to has a large lagging current induced in it when producing a lagging flux so shaded coil shading coil is just like an inductor so it is going to produce a large current but it is going to lag behind the yeah uh, flux okay so stator is going to have the poles are going to be defined uh, designed in a different way so i am going to have windings inside the poles and inside the poles additionally i am going to have what is called as shading coils one shading coil will be present inside pole one will be present adjacent to the rotor same way here one is present adjacent to the rotor one is present inside the pole so what happens because of the shading coil is the resultant flux passing down the shaded portion of the each pole lags behind the flux passing down the remaining portion so when the flux is going to pass through the shaded uh, shaded uh, portion you are going to have a lagging effect when they cross the shaded portion you are going to have a leading effect so when the flux near the shaded portion you have a lag when the flux which are away from the shaded portion you are going to have a lead so you are going to have two two you are going to have a phase angle between the two portions of the flux single flux is traveling one portion of flux is lagging one portion of flux is leading this will result in what this will result in what it will result in what one you have a force one side you are pulling one side you are pushing so what will happen effectively for the force torque sir yes it very good it will result in torque so the motor rotor will try to rotate because see one is lagging one is leading the uh, this will result in production of this will result in production of torque and what is the direction of rotation of the motor always the leading flux portion will be rotating faster compared to the lagging portion so the direction of rotation will be from the leading flux portion to the lagging flux portion that is the direction of rotation of your motor so that is from the unshaded portion unshaded portion is going to be the uh, leading and shaded portion is going to be the lagging portion see it is shown here this is the shaded portion this is the shaded portion and unshaded portion is remaining other than these two areas wherever you are going to have the flux is going to be leading only so it will produce a rotating it will produce a rotating effect okay and uh, this more in this the motor the flux is going to help the motor in rotating the flux is going to glide the rotor surface from leading to lagging part so that it is going to rotate and the reversal of direction how 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 i am going to reverse the direction of rotation of the rotor the so rotor is going to rotate only in uh, anti clockwise so if i want to reverse the rotation of the direction of uh, motor i need to produce the i need to you uh, i need to keep the shading coils at the other end and keep an open circuit one of these so if direction of reversal of uh, see here the reversal of direction of rotation is possible only by providing shading coil at both the pole ends and open circuit circuiting one of these so i have four shading coils right so i have uh, here one here one here one and here one right four shading coils right so i am going to open circuit one of them if you are going to open circuit one of them it is going to provide a reversal in direction of rotation of your motor and this is going to have application in these areas so you can refer to the application of uh, this uh, this motor has application in these 